name is Mark Sheets and I'm going to show you how to create a snap hook and a snap hook groove. What you're looking at is a model of a remote control and this model already has two solid bodies, one representing the top half and one representing the bottom half. We're actually going to place the snap hook in the bottom half. Another thing I want to show is that this model already has a nice lip groove interface between the upper and lower half. That feature, the lip groove feature, is covered in another Quick Tips video. I'm going to temporarily hide the upper half. One of the parameters that the snap hook is going to ask us for is a reference planar selection to position the direction that the snap hook will face. The issue that I have with this model and many plastic models is that you may not have a planar face to select. For example, this sidewall, which seems like a logical choice, isn't planar. It actually has curvature on it. So in order to prepare for that, I'm going to add a reference plane and I'm just going to choose points at the corners of this curved face. Now we're ready to add the snap hook. The snap hook feature is found in your menus under Insert, Fastening Features, Snap Hook. You can also place this flyout toolbar in any of your toolbars. And here I'm going to pick Snap Hook. I'm going to position the snap hook on the top of the lip, and it gives me a preview. Next we need to choose some parameters for it. The first one we're going to choose is a plane that defines the vertical direction of the snap hook. And the bottom face will suffice since in this model that is the planar reference that I want to use. As far as the direction that it faces, I'm going to choose that reference plane that we just created and reverse its direction. And now it faces perfectly um, toward the side that I want. Next, you want to come down here and start to type in the parameters that you want for the size of the snap hook. And you can see there's many detailed parameters. Once you set those up, if you know you're going to use snap hooks of similar sizes, you ought to come down here to the bottom and add that as a favorite and then just reuse favorites to get you started. I'm going to go ahead and complete that and I'm done. That snap hook is created. I want to show a couple more things with snap hooks. They're easy to pattern just like any other feature that we have. If I wanted to pattern it I could set a direction. Here I'm going to use the edge of the snap hook. Choose the snap hook itself for the pattern and now I have a copy of it over here. They can also be mirrored. Pick our mirror reference and the pattern to mirror. Okay, that uh, completes our snap hooks. Let's just hide that plane. And let's bring back the upper half. I'm going to go ahead and look at that section view again. Bring it in here just a bit so we can see the uh, snap hook geometry. All right. So there sits the snap hook. I'm going to go up into my features and add the snap hook groove. Notice there really aren't too many selections required. It wants me to choose the snap hook feature in which to base the groove off. And then the model in which we're going to add the groove, which is of course the upper half. Then my display changes so it can just focus my attention on the actual snap hook groove geometry. And the geometry is built upon the parameters that you entered over here. Basically, it's a bunch of clearances for the snap hook itself. Again, I want to point out you can save favorites and just reuse those. With that, I'll complete this feature. And in no time at all, we have completed our construction of our not only our snap hook, but our snap hook groove. The only thing left to do would be to repeat the same pattern that I did for the other uh, snap hooks and we're done. Again my name is Mark Sheets and this has been another Go Engineer Quick Tip video.